Calculate the area of a rectangular room that is 13 feet wide and 18 feet long. So the room might look like this. We're looking at a floor plan. So it is, it is 13 feet wide. So it's 13 feet wide. And it is 18 feet long. So that dimension is 18 feet. And when you're looking for the area of a rectangle, you literally just multiply the two dimensions. You multiply the width times the length in this case. So the area, the area is going to be equal to 13 times 18 square feet. So let's multiply that out. 13 times 18. 13 times 18. Now, we're first going to worry about this 8 in the 1's place, right? 18 is really 10 plus 8. So when we take this 8 in the 1's place, 8 times 3 is 24, right? The 4 in the 1's place, regroup the 2, which is really a 20, or carry the 2. 8 times 1, now this 1 is really a 10, so 8 times 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And there's no other digits, so we can write the whole 10 down here. So we now see that 8 times 13 is 104. Now let's worry about the next digit. Let us worry about this 1 right here in the tens place. Now since it's in the tens place, we want to put a 0 down here. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1, we ignore this 2. That was from the other digit, so we ignore it. 1 times 1 is 1. So you see that 8 times 13 is 104. 1 times 13, or we should say 10 times 13, because that 1's in the tens place, is 130. 18 is the sum of 10 and 8. So 18 times 13 is going to be the sum of these two numbers. So it's going to be 104 plus 130. 4 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 3 is 3. 1 plus 1 is 2. So the area of the room is 234 square feet, or we could call it feet squared, however you want to do it. I'll write it like this, square, square feet. And if you were to actually draw a grid where you drew 18 lines in this direction, if you were to kept going, and 13 lines in this direction, so if you draw 13 lines in that direction, if you were to count all of the boxes, you would get 234.